I got a phone call again from Babette who said, um, ABC wants you to do a summer show and you're going to do it. And I said, well, oh, really? Uh, what is it? She said, it's live and you love live. I said, well, that's true, but what is it? She said, it's a big hit in England. I said, great, what is it? She said, you've got to promise me before you answer, I'm going to send you a DVD of the British show you have to watch it, and then you can answer, all right? I said, yeah, okay, fine. What is it? She said, it's a celebrity ballroom show. I went, oh, for God's sake! Why don't you just put a bullet in my head and cast me in an infomercial, one before the other, it doesn't matter. And we'll call it a career. And uh, she said, you promised. I said, all right, fine. So they send the DVD, they overnight the DVD of the show called Strictly Come Dancing. And I don't think I was 15 minutes into it. And I thought, this could be fun. I loved the throwback to the old style variety shows. I loved the, the way they integrated the reality element, people out of their uh, comfort zone who really have nothing to gain. They're, it's not like the singing competitions where they're hoping to get a contract and have a career. These people aren't hoping to become professional ballroom dancers after. It had a sense of humor about itself. Bruce Forsyth, who's the, the, the host of the British show, is sort of the Regis of, I think of him as the Regis of, of England, because he's had a long career in, in, in game and talk and such, and, and just has a very uh, vaudevillian almost uh, approach. And, uh, and I thought, this could be fun, and it's a summer show. It's six weeks, you know. And, and then it just took off. And... It just, not immediately, but it ultimately felt like such a good fit. Um, the first show, the first season, there was a lot of scripted material that didn't feel right to me. I delivered it. I, I tried to, but it. I'm doing a live show, and I've got a joke locked and loaded, and it has nothing to do necessarily with what... So. We were into the second season a bit, and I said, I I want to, I, I just want to get rid of, the, you know, and it was no disrespect intended to a very good friend of mine who's, who's a writer on the show, but it just wasn't working for me. And, uh, and so they, tr thankfully, the producers trusted me enough to, to let me go and react. And that's when, for me, that and when I did a dance on a result show, a, a quick step, uh, which I still have the Charlie Chaplin uh, hat from over here on the mantle. Um, that made me fully understand, the dancing made me fully understand um, what they went through, which is my real goal, to, to feel it. Um, and uh, charitably, that dance would have gotten a four or five, I think, from the judges. <laughs> But, but it did what I wanted it to do. And getting rid of the scripted material as much as possible did what I wanted to do. It made me present in the show, reactive to, honestly reactive to, whether with sarcasm or snarkiness or affection and enthusiasm to what was happening. Once that happened, about midway through season two, then it was, then I felt like I was connected to it and it's been a joy.